Someone left Young Voices basically because uh, Young Voices took on the lovely Belle Knox or Miriam Weeks, whatever you want to call her. Mm. You should explain what Young Voices is first. Should I explain what Alex Streckel thinks Young Voices is? Or should, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't actually isn't know it just what, like a what, giant what rent-seeking scheme? <laughs> well, <Yeah>. no. Basically, <laughs> basically, it's like one of these uh, Beltway libertarian, uh, not, not really think tanks, but it's the idea of it is that it's supposed to get uh, young libertarians to ha- get to to get to become, their right to their pundits, thoughts right? out into the media one way or the other get their articles in newspapers get them to appear on talk shows etc i think coke money is involved i don't know that much about it but i do know that it's basically like kathy reasonwitz is is one of the top people which it's funny that she's actually receiving coke money that would be that's that's funny but um <laughs> they're so evil, they're these evil right-wing overlords right that they yeah yeah i mean it's it's funny but um they you know how much they actually are involved i don't know so i shouldn't really go on record saying that but um so so there's like kathy reasonwitz and a few other people and then like a lot of grad students at George Mason, uh, cause there's a good economics program there. Um, and, and so these are mainly the people that are supposed to be trying to get their newspaper, co- like newspaper columns out, uh, appear on talk shows, etc. These are basically and the people. Then all of a sudden, Bell Knox. Bell Knox. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, she t- is she cho- into the fold. Yeah, she chokes on Cox. Therefore, she's a good voice for freedom and liberty in, in the United States. <laughs> right. Because I mean, if you want to choke on Cox, that's just between that's between consenting adults and the consenting adults watching you choke on Cox. Right. And facial abuse, yeah. ergo freedom. Yeah, exactly. You know, there, there, there's no there's no externalities. There's you know nothing bad right. going on there. That's all on the up and up. So, it's good. Yeah, right. and, and so you someone can't, was, you can't shame her because that's bad. But if you shame her, I will shame you for shaming her. Because <laughs> that's it's, the, it's that's coercion. The thing. It's coercion. We should never right? use shaming to control social behavior. So you shouldn't shame, and you should be ashamed of yourself. For what's, shaming. But what's crazy about this is uh, this woman. Her name is Pamela. Subbert. We that's all we need to say. All right, okay. her name is Pamela. What? Yeah. I mean, her blog is out there. It's, yeah, I mean, it. it's out publicly. Yeah, so this this oh. woman Pam, she she disassociated. She wrote a very nice column. That's I the thing. She did not. She did not shame and, Bell right? Knox. All she said no. was, "I don't want to be associated with you." She didn't say, "You're horrible." You're a whore. You're, you know all the things that I would say. She didn't say she any didn't of the, say what we would say. <laughs> she didn't exactly. She didn't say what we were all thinking. She was really like nice and diplomatic she, about she it. She just said what we were thinking. And, oh, exactly. She was oh, basically just saying, was, "I don't oh. like this. Peace out." And and you, it was and more than it's more than just that though. Like her argument was was more than just that. It was that it's not just that. Like I personally want to disassociate from a porn star, even though maybe that's what she was thinking. It was that. Young Voices is supposed to be a legitimate intellectual organization that's trying to put yeah. ideas out there. And by promoting a porn star with no intellectual credentials, you are signaling that your organization is actually not intellectually serious. Right. You are saying that we want to be edgy and hip and, and jump on to the young generation and things that they're going to be interested in. And, and since they're really only interested in their genitals, exactly. this is like something... <laughs> you put that, that way nicer cool. than I was prepared to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but So it's not just like, I don't want to be involved in an organization with a porn star. It's that what does elevating a porn star to the front person of this organization say about the organization? Not it's not just you. She's a slut and a whore, and get away from me. But which this, is what this, know, trans- us would do. this translated but, uh, to she's a bigot who hates oh, sex oh, the workers. Response. Oh, the response was uh, sex oh, workers. And it, and, My and favorite phrase in America: sex workers. It, it's a violation of the non-aggression principle now, too. So, so didn't didn't the non didn't the non-aggression principle like it, it's like yeah it has like a really like confined and autistic like definition of like exactly what aggression is, but like. It's like what is it Shaming now? What, what is it? Uh, what is, like what is it now? Like aggression, just be don't be a meanie. Yeah, that's I mean, the non-aggression honestly, principle. 
that's the, I mean, they try to justify, I was, I debated with some of these people and like these people's thoughts are, are so perverse that it's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, this guy was, he was talking about like objectively doing harm and it's like, well, that's actually, uh, that actually doesn't have anything to do with the supposed libertarian non-aggression principle, at least as I understood it when I entered libertarianism about 12 years ago, uh, you know, saying mean things and making somebody feel bad. That that didn't uh, most libertarians. I, I couldn't think of a one that would tell you that was uh, that was a violation of the non-aggression principle. And he's like, well, you know, it, it, if you shame them and then they are forced into underground cultures where they'll do themselves harm, and it's like, well, that's not your problem. You I mean, mean, like sex work. That's their freedom. Yeah, I was about to say, like, <laughs> like porn. Wait, wait, isn't that so, exercising like, think their about, liberty? Or their see, we should just keep shaming theory. them because then they'll be empowered. <laughs> Think about all of the obligations that that puts on you towards another person, all the positive obligations which the non-aggression principle is supposedly against that, that puts on you. To act. So because if you disassociate from people, they'll feel bad. They'll do self-destructive things. They'll get involved in dangerous subcultures. They, you know, they'll do X, Y, and Z. You now are obligated. I mean, that's so. Sh- that's going to lead you to t- straight down the road to totalitarian socialism. Well, they've taken like, on the, they've taken on the Tumblr narrative that. Anytime you disagree, it's all microaggression now. It's not aggression, it's the special microaggression. So. But yeah, and, 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 and fucking Pumpkinhead is leading the charge on that. <laughs> that's her whole thing. I mean, that's her whole thing. There is nothing... I mean, we're going to sound like we're defending, you know, old school... And in some sense, I am defending old school libertarianism. I mean, libertarianism was right-wing as fuck when I jumped into it. <laughs> it's obviously different now, and I get why people think it's extremely gay now, but, like... Because it really, yeah, really is now. <laughs>